guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording on Friday, August 16th, and we are looking at Jalen Brown's best game of the season. We already did Jason Tatum, so if you're interested uh, in seeing what we deemed to be uh, Mr. Tatum's best game of the 23-24 season, go check out that video. It's on the channel right now. Uh, but today we're talking about Jalen Brown. How are you doing today, Sam? Doing good. I'm excited for this. Uh, lot, a couple of people in the comments were like, can we get some Jalen content? So this is going to fulfill go. those needs. Uh, I think a lot of these Jalen games are exciting. He had a few. The funny thing about Jalen, I guess we're diving right into it, is he had like good games in different ways in terms of scoring. Like we saw a whole new Jalen like in the second half of the season compared to the first. So when we watch these highlights, I feel like some of it's going to feel way different than we might remember. Mm. Yes, I agree. I'm excited. So what are the first ones that jump out to you as Jalen Brown's best game of the season? Okay. Now, before looking at basketball reference, top of the head was Den at Denver. He had an incredible game, even though they lost um, yep. game two against the Pacers when he had 40 points uh, yep. is another one. And then I think against the Pacers, he had another one. It might have been the, the one where they lost because – the didn't weird lose the ref Pacers. controversy at the end. Oh, 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 sorry. Yes. I was like, they didn't lose to the Pacers. Yes, that one was a good one uh, as well. Um, the buzzer beater, was that the 40-pointer? Same game? No, oh, no, that was game one. Yeah, I was going to say, buzzer beater. Jalen Sneaky be Pacers killer. As well. um, yeah, except they lost that Buddy Healed one, unfortunately. Um, which one was game one? Was it this one right here, 29-6-2? They're wearing white. If you're looking at the thumbnail, I'm not. I'm looking at basketball reference, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I'm trying to find it here. Let's see. Game one, he had 26 seven I got rebounds, it. five assists. I got it. Game one, he had 26, seven, and five. Yes, 26, 7, and 5. Um, but he had the buzzer beater. And then I have the one where the Pacers won the buddy healed game, but he was awesome in that one as well. He had 40 points. Um, I have his Nuggets game up here as well. Um, that the Nuggets won, but he played great. I have 40 pointer. Uh, and then I have two other ones that we can rule out if we'd like. Um, but they're random. And I was just looking through the regular season. He had 31, 10, and 6 in a win over the Raptors without Tatum, but he had seven. Mm -hmm as well um that was a game with no porzingis no al horford no uh jason tatum so it was jalen drew and Derek white and he put up 31 10 and 6 and they won the game so we can include that if we want he made five of six threes as well and then the game against the pelicans he had uh let's see 22 11 and 7 uh no turnovers so that's another one i brought up um but it feels like the playoffs most of his best games were Indeed. Finals game three. Is that 30 points, eight and eight? 30 points, and he had some big baskets. Yep, Hit 30. a loud dunk. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's narrow this down to four or five. Uh, okay. So I'll get rid of the Raptors and Pelicans because those didn't immediately jump to mind. And that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can bounce one of them uh, if we'd like to. I guess um... we can ax the pace. Ah, wait. Off. No, I lied. We have five. One, two, okay. three, four, five. We have five games. Yeah, so we can take a look at all those. Uh, three of them are Pacers games. Um, but we can take a look and determine from there. Uh, I guess we're watching a lot of Pacers basketball today. <laughs> what do you want to start with here? Why don't we go Pacers, non-Pacers, Pacers, non-Pacers, Pacers? Okay. So Just to which keep it fresh. Then which... Let me rephrase. Which Start Pacers, with the 40-point loss. With? Okay, which was game... Not a game, not a playoff uh, game. Non-playoff game. So this was January 8th. Yes. Uh, Jalen Brown Pacers, January 8th. Let's see if that pops up from Timmy's page. Um, no, but we have the NBA. I don't want that because that's going to get us Probably the fantastic clap. finishes. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to Timmy's page and scroll back from there just to see if I can find it because I feel like we might get clapped if we watch from the NBA's page. That's Even very true. This is just using NBA's content anyways. But <clears throat> excuse me. Let's let's see here. Um, I really While wish I could see this a lot easier. 
Yeah. Paolo Bancaro gave his all time Duke starting five. Mm-hmm. And there's like one guy that wasn't within like the last 10 years. That does make sense considering he's 21 yeah. years old. <laughs> Aren't they supposed to teach guys about that though when they go to college? Like, especially Duke, a place that preaches history and everything. Like, I you think they would have a little bit more of like, hey, yeah, but you're, if you're I'm going to play basketball here, here's a little bit of our history. But if I'm naming guys like, best players ever like i'm just naturally going to choose players that i've watched do you know what i'm saying like i'm just going to choose guys for the most part that i've watched like, play basketball well like now there there is a very big difference between college and the nba like the way that players pan out but like jaleel okafor being on there over somebody like C- christian leitner or grant hill is crazy i get it but he probably like jaleel okafor is probably one of the reasons he wanted to go to duke <laughs> Weirdly enough, I, Jaleel Okafor was like a monster it. in college. Like he was. No, that's incredible. what I mean. That's what I'm player. saying. Yeah. Redick, the only well, Kyrie, I guess, but Redick, the only non-active. Well, I guess. Okafor but he's active. he's so relevant. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like I, I get it. I I don't. I'm not saying you're wrong. Because like Grant Hill could probably be on the list. Christian Leitner could probably be on the list. All those guys. But like, if I'm naming best players to ever, you know. You know, I just it, you're just more likely to name guys that you've seen. I can't find Timmy's video on the Jalen Pacers game, so I think we're just gonna watch the NBA's and pray uh, they don't clap us. But uh, we do have Jalen Brown drop season high forty points in Indy. It might not show us assists and stuff, which is unfortunate. But I just his video. We're just gonna watch this one instead. So here we go. Here's Jalen forty points against the Pacers, season high. Unfortunately, they don't. Excuse me, we'll take a look. I'll put the sound on a little bit. I think it adds. You guys don't want sound, let me know in the comments, but I think it's it's nice to have it. Let's go on. Especially when you watch highlights. I mean, if, if yeah. I'm going to watch highlights, I first of all prefer home highlights because you can hear all the crowd pop and everything. But I think the commentary really adds to it. Like anytime like yeah. I'm watching someone's highlights and somebody puts music over it, I don't really do. It kind of looks like a home crowd here in Indy, though. It's a lot of green. Jalen had 40 points in this game, five rebounds, two assists, 17 of 26 from the field, three of four from deep. A lot of interior buckets for Mr. Jalen in this game. A lot of inside buckets. That's when he was at his best, it feels, this season. I mean, some of these other games that we're going to watch – he just got anywhere he wanted, took advantage of all mismatches, and made the opposing teams pay for not giving him all the attention in the world. This also was a game without Tatum, correct? Yeah, no Tatum in this game. He was the only one out. Uh, Hazard didn't play either, but big loss you know saying, of the uh, top six. What a block! Oh my god. <laughs> Andrew Nemhard, Celtics killer. We didn't know. No you. chance. See you later. And he, even on jump shots, he's just bodying guys. Mm. Imagine trying to cover him or any NBA player, but Jalen in particular. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know to me. I feel like Jalen is one of the strongest for like his size. It, like, Probably strength, strength to size ratio. He's going to be towards the top. Obviously, like some point guards, like Russ, guys like that that have to be strong to compete. But man, just a massive human being. That's a freak athlete. Twenty five in the first half is nuts. Oh, Halliburton didn't come back in this game. I forgot about that. This, yeah, this is the game where Halliburton went out and then it got better for the Pacers. Then TJ McConnell took over. Mm-hmm. When the jump shot's not slow, it's money. I wonder if the Weirdest speed of the thing. jump shot is a mechanics thing where he's trying to get it down as much as possible. Jesus, man. Did anybody ever ask him about that? Or the time was just never right? That's something yeah. I can see the time not really being right for. Yeah, it's just... It's like an awkward thing to ask about. It's kind of random. It would, I feel like it would have to be like a like courtside chat thing. Like, you don't want to do it. Yeah, it, it can't be... 
It's not a press conference question. Unless he makes like <laughs> like five of them in a game. Like, you know, Jalen, sometimes it looks like your jumper's a little bit slower. Tonight went in every time. It looked like it was in slow motion. Is there a reason why you do that? What a pass. And this is where he gets. We don't, we don't get to see him getting screwed at the end of the game, unfortunately. Um, okay, so there's that one. You want to do Nuggets or Finals game next? You want to do Nuggets? Do the Nuggets. Or, or get the losses back to back. Get the losses. Get the regular season out of the way. All right. Let's see here. Jalen Brown, Nuggets highlights. Let's see if that just pops up. Uh, what do you have in that game? Jalen had in Denver. Yeah, 41. 41 14. Yeah. Do we get Timmy? Nope. All right. NBA game again. Let's watch this. And we'll skip the ad. All right. No, we won't because my computer's lagging. There we go. All right. <clears throat> this was a great game. Yeah, it really. This was. was both of these, both of the Denver games were great. I remember watching this game. It was just if any of the Celtics stars hit their threes, they probably would have won the game, but they just didn't. This was one of those games that was extremely rare, where it felt like the Celtics just weren't in control ever. Yeah, it was a great game. Just. They had a throwback. It always like, felt it was like behind. holy shit. Like they're lucky to be in this, and they may steal it. Like when a team is as good as the Celtics, there's not many times that you sit there and say to yourself, "They might steal this one." Oh, Tony Brothers. Yeah, Tatum was also not good this game. Um, he only took thirteen. He only took thirteen shots, so it's not like he was killing them by taking a million. He only took five threes, but. Scoring against mismatches. They switch there. They got the mismatch. Reggie Jackson just into the game. Kristaps got killed late in this game by Jokic too. He just doesn't have the size to hang with Jokic. No. That was the big concern. <laughs> if um, finals, they saw him in the finals. I remember this was the one where it was like, um, I think Jalen was really hot to start, and then he cooled off. If I remember correctly. I think he, I know he had a hot third quarter. He cooled off in the fourth, though. He had two of seven, one of four in the fourth quarter. So he was red hot in the first three. And then like Peyton Watson, <laughs> low boy. The words of my boy. Let's see. You can see him pull up from behind us on the screen. Make us a little smaller for we you. We played good defense. We just couldn't get the job done. I'll make us real small. I didn't want to cover the scoreboard, so I had to put us over here. No, very for this one. We probably just covered the scoreboard in the Pacers one. Aaron Gordon is not a small man. No, he just went right through his chest. You know, it was back paddling. This was almost a game where it felt like Jalen was playing Mike. But in a way where all his player can do is go inside, and he just was spamming it. I remember KP hit those two big threes at the start of the third, and then he literally hit one three the other <laughs> the rest off. of the entire night. I know he was hey, one for this. one for eight out of those that's out of those two threes. Oh, had the right idea, but Jokic wasn't looking. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over five million active members. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Get in on the daily action with your friends and become a part of the Prize Picks community today. With Prize Picks, you could turn $10 into $1,000 while watching Team USA rack up the gold medals this summer. You can make a Prize Picks lineup of players across basketball, soccer, tennis, golf, and more in as little as 60 seconds. Just pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and you're locked in. Prize Picks is available in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Sam and I use Prize Picks all throughout the NBA playoffs. As the Celtics were making their run, if you guys tuned into the pregame show, you saw it. We like Drew Holiday blocks. We always picked Jason Tatum to get a dunk. That was a lock for us. And we always picked less on the opposing stars' points. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. That's code CLNS on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to $100. 
pick more, pick less. It's that easy. And now Brown on the runaway. They made a run in this third. Nuggets are just good. They man. came out of the half red hot, and then they melted a little bit. As you see, it's nine points now. Look at Jalen, man. Just yeah. I mean, they're just gonna give him that space every time. This was like a megastar game from Jalen. Mm -hmm. It was great. They sent so much at Tatum that the floor just like wide open for a JB. And he took advantage. They were so willing to give up the middies instead of letting him drive, and he just hit them all. I mean, look at this. The, the, the dominance in the paint. Like, this had me beyond excited the night we recorded and this. I definitely was pissed because they lost and the way they lost. But the way he showed out in this game was super encouraging ahead of the playoffs. And I think we did get to see a little bit of the confidence carry over from this entire March stretch. Like, this was a great stretch of basketball in general for Jalen. Like, it wasn't just this game. You see those, I mean, obviously winning conference and NBA Finals MVP. He had some kind of confidence about him, even though it wasn't a uh, unanimous decision. It was pretty split both ways. I remember that. I remember Jokic got hacked. <laughs> Little boy Porter Jr. Oh, this was a big swing. The game was over right there. Was this an ad mid video? End of video? Is the video over? What is happening? No, it's mid video ad. No, end of video. <laughs> end of video ad. Oh, that was the last basket. That's insane. It's um, weird when they cut these highlights and they just don't show the end of the game. Because, yeah, <laughs> we're obviously talking from memory and we're like, oh, yeah, it sucks they lost this. But that was a game where it was, oh my God, Jalen is having a fear of God game where. Denver had no answer for him, and if I was a Nuggets fan, I'd be afraid of how well he was playing. The only problem was Jokic was completely in control when Denver had the ball yeah. with the clock ticking down. They had to double him. He was hitting Aaron Gordon on some crazy cuts. Gordon had maybe the most unbelievable putback dunk we've ever seen off a Jokic miss. Like For the Celtics to lose that game, some things had to go. I wouldn't say wrong, but Denver just took it out of their hands. Yeah, it was all out of whack. It's very weird. Uh, okay, well, watch game, watch game one. Or, no, we'll save the buzzer beater. Let's watch the other Pacers game. Okay. Let's Dude, get we'll it. watch game uh, two. I forgot they, they blew him out in this game. Yeah, they killed him in this game. It, it, it felt like relief. the whole, <clears throat> it felt like the whole series was close, but um, game one. two was a blowout. Yeah. I mean, uh, we all deserved a break after what we had to deal with in game one. It's true. We earned the we earned the blowout. Is, uh, that was a great game. Though. Hindsight, great game. At the time, very nervous, but hindsight, awesome game. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, switch it back up. Um, not cover the score this time. Shout out to the Pacers for wearing the same jerseys in literally every playoff game. Every playoff game or every Celtics game? Every playoff game. Every they single only wore one. the yellows. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> if you're gonna go all in, you might as well go all in. I guess. I agree. Tatum really could not find anything Looks like me whole playoffs. It's so brutal, man. This is that crowd. There we go. Neesmith. Sorry, brother. Oh, my God. He's just a sieve. <laughs> he almost got that block, too. Ne Neesmith is like... Uh, Couldn't get there. I, I don't really have a great comp. I, I yeah, wanted to you say like, talking. <laughs> well, no, I had I was gonna say like a child you lose in the divorce. You still love him, but you don't really see him as much anymore. It just didn't work out, but that's just not quite the right. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know if I'd go with that. Oh my god, dude. They're missing so many open layups, it's painful. Maybe like the family pet after you move out of your parents' house. Or you'll Dude, look at all of these in and out shots. Horford, Hauser, Tatum. <clears throat> Dude, that shot was down. It's crazy. Yeah, he had 40 in this game. What a pass. Yeah, that was a phenomenal play by Jalen. And that starts. He got three defenders to follow him. He really matured wow. as a decision maker as the season went on. Because if you remember, at the beginning of the season, there was a lot of discourse, especially on the national level. Like It was like, they just paid Jalen, and he clearly doesn't fit into the team. 
And there was some validity to that too. Like he really didn't look comfortable right away. The opening night game in New York was one I think he only had like in the teens amount of points, which as we know now, not exactly the, the average statistics that we're used to seeing from Jalen. But then, as you mentioned, like as the season goes on, the playoffs and everything, he's able to manipulate the defense, take advantage of the attention that he's getting and make things easier for his teammates. And with Jalen, every single season, we're always talking about whatever he's getting better at. It was his shooting, then it was his ball handling, then it was a little bit of vision. And now we've seen him take it to a whole new level where he's playing superstar basketball. Again, this is a part of the Celtics offense, and Jalen Brown does this as well as any round. The game's leading score, 19 points here in the first half. <laughs> Find some room, drives it. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to dunk it. Imagine having Jalen's athleticism. My Just God. for, like, one day. You have it got that too. just for your like pickup run. Mm. You show up and you can jump like that for one day and everyone's like, what the fuck? And you come back. Bro, they're oh, bullying me, Smith. Oh, my God. <laughs> this was a fire play. He definitely didn't even mean to find jail in there. That was absolutely a pass for Tatum. It, this, that was, that, that was one of the most Tatum. fire passes of the season. And it definitely was not intentional. <laughs> There's no way. Would we start to feel the second <clears throat> shout out to the league for keeping the replay in the package? Uh, this is Timmy. No, no, don't shout out the league. This is all oh, it's Timmy. Timmy. Shout out yeah, Timmy. Don't worry shout about Timmy. it. Here, actually, you know what? That's a good point. Good idea. Let me swear Timmy's tags in here somewhere. Oh, now, you met Cal Timmy, right? When I did meet Timmy. Yeah. There's Timmy's at. I'll put it down there. Very good of the Celtics to hook him up for the finals. Well deserved. They should low key hire him. Yeah, somebody should. Big shot. One thing we should do later this summer is just pick a random Derek White game from the first finals run season and then watch some highlights from now and just look at the difference in the confidence when he shoots the ball. Mm. <clears throat> it's true. It's a completely different guy. What a pass. Dude, look at the space all of these teams are giving Tatum and Brown. Watch this drive. This happened with Jalen earlier in the game when he made that like pass into rotations. One, two, three. Derek White brought TJ over, but Turner's on him. Shepard, this is a terrible help from Shepard. And why is Obi Toppin so far up? Like, what, what happened at the top of the key here? What is Halliburton doing? <laughs> what the hell is yeah, Halliburton doing? They're not a team known for their defense. I know, but, like, this has to be like, oh, I think we're switching. I think we're not. What is – this is the problem. Halliburton is the problem here. The, these two, Obi and Hal. This might have been after he got is, hurt. I don't care. This is ridiculous. That is an insane thing to let happen. <clears throat> two of you guarding like Peyton Pritchard at the logo as Tatum. Uh, Halliburton's chicken. Beautiful pass to O'Shea. I remember that. That was great. <clears throat> that was like his first bucket. This dude's most bunch. excited man on the planet right there. I remember when that 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 cut to the crowd came up when I was watching live. But again, this is a maturity thing. Like I feel like a year, year and a half ago, Jalen goes up and tries to finish this. Like the window is there. He does have somewhat of an opportunity to get off the glass. Also got fouled. Maybe it's a he didn't want to shoot free throws angle. I mean, it should have been called regardless. <laughs> Let's see. Look at O'Shea fighting. Oh my God, Siakam's cooked. Jesus Christ! Oh they just bullied those guys. He, right he got hacked again. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> this this might be my leader for best game of the season from Jalen. It's a good it's a good pick. I mean, it's I think a big it's better stage. than the other two. He was impacting it in multiple ways. Like it. it was a scoring masterclass, but as we've seen in the tape, he he did quite a bit more, right? He's making reads, he's playing defense. He was just in it to win it in game two after the close to game one where he was the hero. I'm sure he was riding high. 
Yeah, just nobody on this Indian team can guard Jalen. <laughs> Not one. Nobody on this Indian team can guard anybody. Yeah, none of these guys could guard Jalen in the playoffs. Oh my god, that was nasty. That was nasty work. Doug McDermott, my god, goodbye. Is that a travel? Uh, gather step here. Gather step. Mm, it's borderline. I don't think it's. It's not a blatant. Time, it doesn't enough. look like it. Yeah, it's not a blatant enough travel to call. <clears throat> Shout out Deuce. Deuce jumping up and down. I think that's my leader so far. Uh, let's go to the Mavs finals game. Then we'll end up with the buzzer beater game. Um, and go from there. So this Mavs game, game three, game they almost lost. Jalen had uh, 30 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, three turnovers, 12 of 22, two of nine. If I remember correctly, he was cold to start. Um, and it might have been a tale of two halves game for Jalen. I th I think. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. Hopefully, I'm not talking out of my ass. But um, I, I think he was cold to start, unless I'm misremembering. What the hell ad is on my screen? All right, here we go. Lotion. Apparently. This crowd here. They did have a really good crowd. Yeah, it was Jaylen nice was... of ESPN to actually uh, filter in the crowd noise when they were in Dallas. <laughs> Jalen was two of three in the first, or two of six in the first half, so he was relatively cold to start this one. Yeah, as yeah, they got the team, killed. I mean, they got yeah. up to a slow start. <laughs> he did have. He is just. So dynamic. Five assists in the first half, though. So he was doing stuff. You know, I don't want to make it sound like he was bad, but his shot this was to me was the there. game that if I'm talking about the finals MVP, I'm pointing to, especially when the second half rolls around, when when they needed the basket to kind of hold off Dallas after what were they have 18 or something? They almost lost. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> I get it. I see it. I still think Tatum should have won MVP. <laughs> that was a crazy block. It, it is a crazy sequence because then Cleva drops it out of bounds. <laughs> Poor guy. It's too bad Grant wasn't still on the Mavs for this. <laughs> Even though they might not have been here if it was that way. Maybe we shall be thankful. That way they didn't play Denver. What does Jalen do here? Probably cuts. No. Yeah, Fat yeah. Slob doesn't want to cut with him. <laughs> he's he's being guarded off the ball with Luca. He didn't even see it. Cut. Yeah. He, he didn't even see it. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, ah, shit. Yeah, he knows he's cooked. He had like I mean, two that, steps before anybody even noticed he was there. At that point, save your energy, Luca. You're not catching that guy. I get it. <laughs> nice pass. Nice finish. He he does a really good job of making the right call on the uh, fast breaks too. <laughs> fast breaks are where Jalen changed his game this year. I wrote about it earlier this year. Second half, Jason Jalen Brown, by the way, had um, this the right game. Yeah, he had 24, 5, and 3 on a 10 to 16, 2 of 6, one turnover. Right. And so as you can see, a, uh, beginning of the third quarter, it's a one point game. Like they needed that push real bad. Yeah. I mean, is it does it really count as a 30 ball if Luke is guarding you? <laughs> The map should have been in the finals, man. That's embarrassing. You can't. I, I would like it if they were every time. Fine with me. Where's. <laughs> People really that, tell me. That's what made me say it. That, I was like, holy shit, he did not do anything. But that, guy's better than, that guy's better than Tatum, though, because hmm. points. Points, though. Remember, Sammy scores a lot of points. Right, dude. I I tell you all the time. I'm not impressed by him. I know. I'm just I'm just mocking all the people. Oh, look at this, dude! How, look how free. Wait. 
I was about to say, look how free the baseline spin is there. <laughs> like, look at... They made the right play, but Tim Hardaway Jr. is giving him a free spin baseline <laughs> into live. Like, he could have wrapped around to the corner himself. But <clears throat> good ball movement. I would have side-eyed him if I were a teammate and he's talking about stepping back to test the three. Doris talking that shit. Oh. Mrs. Hauser comes flying in for the rebound. He's double team, gets it out back up to White. I think I remember this possession. Just so fast. Oh, maybe I don't. I feel like there was one where they had like three offensive rebounds like that, and then they finally made one. Oh my God, Maxi! Jesus Christ! Good night. They almost blew this game too at the end. It was brutal. Good pass. Oh, this is oh, your yeah. shot, Jack. You recreated this. <laughs> I did. That's a fire bench reaction, too. Why is that not a gift? I want to watch it again. I know, I know, I know. Oh, my God. So this is the dunk that I think of when I think of Jalen's finals performance. It reminds me of the dunk he had in Miami two years ago in game five, and it just you can hear him suck the air out of the entire building. It capped off a massive third quarter for the Celtics. And obviously, like, they still needed a final push because they blew the lead. But he was there when they needed that, too. So just just the big moment plays from Jalen really made this game special for me. Game time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. Prices on the game time app actually go down the closer it gets to first pitch. I remember my dad taking me to Fenway Park as a kid, getting to watch David Ortiz and Dustin Pedroia sitting in the Green Monster and taking in all there is to love about the iconic ballpark. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets. Taking a look at my Game Time app right now, I see plenty of great deals to watch my favorite sports teams and my favorite tickets to Noah Khan. You guys know that's my favorite artist. I even used it while in Las Vegas for Summer League to get tickets to a women's basketball game. Some of my favorite features in the Game Time app include letting me see what the price is going to be with fees included. It makes so much easier to take a look and see what the actual price I'm going to pay is. Also, you get to see exactly where you are sitting. It's a great way to know exactly the experience you're going to get. I also love the fact that you can get great last minute deals. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, or anything else. Take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. That <clears throat> didn't like the call, brother. Your elbow was in his ear. What do you what do you want him to call? <laughs> It is really crazy looking around at this Mavs lineup, though, and it's like, oh, he's being guarded by Kyrie. That's a mismatch. Oh, it's Luka. That's a mismatch. Like, they probably only have P.J. Washington as the guy. You're like, oh, like, that's a respectable defender. Derek Jones athletic, but, like, he's still, like, kind of skinny. Like, somebody like Jalen could have his way with him if he's driving. Josh Green would be fine, but he's just not a good enough off- a consistent Josh enough Green, offensive yeah. player to stay on the floor. This is the Kyrie scramble pass where he had no Look idea what the ball was. Oh, no. <laughs> I do think Kyrie is a better defender than people give him credit for. Like, he's far better. He's than just, he's he's just, just tiny. He's just tiny. He's like Peyton Pritchard defender. Yeah. I mean, when he was with the Celtics, he did make an effort on it. The floor. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. a big story. <clears throat> I think Kyrie's probably a good defender. He's just too small to be a good defender, if that makes sense. Oh, I remember that was people were mad about play. this. Yep. I mean... This is the one that Wendy... Wendy cooked Luca for because he was like you clearly fouled him, and then you told your team to waste their one challenge. Yeah, that was that was that was a charge <laughs> or a foul. I mean, <clears throat> look at how easily they just give up the switch that they can't give up. Hit him against Josh Green. Oh my God, Josh Green stepped, and then. Blew the floor. Yeah, I mean, Jalen's there. good drive by Tatum, and Jalen makes the big play to luckily be there. I and can't believe here's Josh another Green one. Like, this so is the big 
holy shit, he hit the dagger shot. Like, th- these are the moments that really made me feel like he should have been the MVP. Like, it obviously doesn't matter. Like, they won the series. But this was his, like, historic game that I think people would think of when they think of Jalen when he's retired someday. Mm. The last one was OT uh, buzzer beater. Let's see, game what? Jalen Brown Pacers game one. Here it is. Yeah, 26, 7, 5, and 3. And obviously the buzzer beater is the highlight of it. Also watch this. Then we'll reconvene, talk about what we think was the best game. Skip the ads there. Don't worry about it. Let's take a look. Do you still pay for YouTube premium? I do, but not on this account. What a way to start the conference finals. I forgot about that. Just YouTube premium. So worth it, by the way. No ads. You kidding? As much as I watch YouTube, so worth it. You know what's worse is when I watch. So I started watching on the Xbox this week, which is like (laughs) killing time. The ads, when you try and watch on that or a TV, are worse. Why? They're longer. It's like 40 seconds to watch worth the ads. Yeah. It's not just like you have 15 seconds and you can skip. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, I want to move. That looks like a travel every single time. I know it definitely isn't because every like a lot of people do it. Yeah, it's just a step through. Because <clears throat> you're allowed to have a pivot foot, and then you just step off your round pivot foot, and then you're. Dude, if you're guarding Jalen, they'll be top, and you're probably not going to win the series. I'm sorry. It's I know it's a tough like they are actively guarding Jalen Brown with Toppin. It is not a oh we switched. It is let's put Obi Toppin on Jalen Brown. Eesh. Even that there, dude. They give Jalen so much space. He could just pull it up from mid range. Andrew Nemhard's a good defender, but he's small. Good night. That was actually really good defense. And Jalen just said, nah, I'm shooting over your head. It's nice to be reminded how good these guys are every once in a while. That looks like a travel. You're right. <laughs> it, it's definitely not, though, because no, he's keeping not. that left foot down and he's I just know. stepping with the right, but it looks like it every single time. Like, I've gotten to oh understand that it is not a travel, even when I see it in like a pickup setting, but it took a lot. Mm-hmm. See you later, bro. Uh, sorry, stolen by Brown. Great anticipation from Jalen Brown. Brown comes up with it. Euro step from Brown. Layup won't go. Oh, I thought he was gonna make that. Dude, uh, <laughs> Toppin is like drooling over the ball. <laughs> it's just smacking it away. It's another defensive highlight. Oh my god, wait, did he throw it off Neesmith? This is unbelievable. Yeah, he got his ass. <laughs> he was on a shit on defense in this game. Dude, Neesmith really has become a quality player. He's really good. He's just not Jalen Brown. Oh, Clearly no, would not Kyrie's. have fit here. Like, would not have had the time to develop. But You know what I wonder? I wonder how many quote-unquote bad defenders would be viewed as better defenders if teams didn't help over so much to help them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'll show you. Like, this play right here. Obviously, it's a mismatch. Jalen Brown is just bigger than Tyrese Halliburton. But you're telling me the better alternative is to send two at the ball or not here. It's the next play, I think. One sec. Where is the one I'm thinking? No. What what a drastic change in score, by the way, between highlights. This right here. This. Look. Yeah. So you get the switch. You're telling me the better option is to leave a corner shooter open than to let Halliburton try to battle inside. Like, what's the worst case? Halliburton has to foul and you give two free throws to Jalen versus an open three for Drew Holiday. I just don't like those percentages. Like I'm not I saying think, I don't I don't think Halliburton is go a good defender, but by doing this, you're hurting his perception even more because I would just live with Halliburton guarding him in the post. It's probably not like he's got the odds are he's gonna get through him, 
but at least give him the chance. Don't Drew Holiday is like one of the best corner shooters in the league, and he you'd is, rather absolutely. live with that. That's bad. I think the mind. hope is one that you're playing percentages where you feel like Jalen getting an open or not an open look, a one-on-one opportunity against Halliburton that deep into the paint feels like more of a foregone basket than a holiday three. But you're also gambling on Jalen being the old Jalen where he's like, I'm just going to go up anyway. This is the like by the time he helps over, look at dribbles picked up. Like you didn't yes. have to help there. You could have just let Halliburton keep his hands up. Let Jalen take a fadeaway midi. Even if it, like, I think Jalen's fadeaway mid-range shot, not just all mid-range in general, is probably a worse percentage than Drew Holiday in the corner, and it's worth one fewer point. Like, it just doesn't make sense to help there to me. And I just think it's valid. useless. I'm just, I'm just saying that's probably the I know what you're saying. I get it. He'll make a mistake just... and panic and see the double. <laughs> and then you see this, and I go back to Halliburton. It's probably just not a great defense. Truthfully, the key to beating the Celtics might just be staying home. As yeah, much as you can. You have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. I remember he hit one of those earlier in the game. I was certain it was going in. Me too. Yeah, this is a clear. Uh, this, is, this is a very underrated moment, too, because yeah. Jalen, I think brass balls makes both these after like a mm-hmm. rough free throw shoot free throw that's shooting game. In series before. Got his ass. Wow. What a what a screen by Derek White. I don't think I realized till just now how like important Derek White's play in this was. Like, look, he completely shuts off Siakam with a moving screen. What a shot, too. Dude, if I was a Pacers fan, that might be enough for me not to watch for a while. I'd be so mad. <laughs> Big Poppy. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg. Family He's friend. Family friend, kind of, yeah. yeah. It's true. Definitely doesn't know who I am. This place is right what else we got? We got some overtime highlights from Mr. Mr. Brown. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's watch the rest of the game now. <laughs> I really thought that was going into. The fact that that was that close to going in is insane. They're like they didn't call foul the way the bullshit happens sometimes. <clears throat> That's true. White to Brown. Dude, yeah, okay. Maybe that's what they're afraid of with <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a lose lose, really, is what it is. God is asked. Because you're giving up a uh, one fear point. <clears throat> yeah. Good timeout, Joe. Hey. We should we should we should go through and find Joe's best game too. Like you used his timeouts. <laughs> There's just no way Joe to see that. Highlights. Yeah, there's just no way. Just him calling timeout. We should do a video where we go through all of his clips of talking shit. We should. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. It's a- all right. Sam, what's his best game of the season? It's a really tough. I think my opinion changed like three times throughout this recording. Yes. So Because I came in thinking it was Denver. Denver to me was just as it was happening, eye opening. It was like, holy shit, this is a whole different guy. If he plays like this in the playoffs, watch out. Then you look at the finals game and I'm watching the finals game and I'm like, wow, he really just kind of showed up in all the big moments. Then you watch that game one against the Pacers and it's remembered because of the shot, but he was like the whole driving force behind them even being in position for him to take that shot. Mm -hmm. He was getting steals he had the the deflection off of Siakam to even get the ball back there. And then he shows up in overtime. He picked guys clean numerous times throughout the game. So if you ask me, it's probably that one. Any game that we the showed. Finals game or that game? Uh, game one against Indiana where he does. Buzzer beater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. 
Uh, I think game one overtime shot. I think the defense put it over the top for me. He was everywhere. Um, I don't know what he finished with in terms of blocks and steals. I can look at that quick, but he was just like in every passing lane, getting every block he could. He, he had uh, three steals, one block. All of them were like in important moments too. Um, I think the other Pacers game, the one where he had a uh, 40 was underrated too. I think he was doing a lot in that game. I think, I think I'd go Pacers game one, then the finals game as the top two though. Um, but I, I think I would give, Pacers game one the edge as well it just it feels like he was just the most all over the place um even though he was like I really loved when Jalen passes the ball well in that finals game he was doing all of that uh, and he was doing that in the the what was it the Pacers game too um literally game two so I was I was pretty impressed with that as well but uh anyways let us know what you guys think we appreciate you opportunity and make sure to leave a like subscribe and let Sam take it out yeah, thank you very much for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Hit the bell. You don't want to miss any of our uploads. We have new stuff at 5 a.m. every single morning. You can find our full pods Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Game recaps the morning after each game. And other videos like these in between to keep you busy until tip-off. We got you covered. Again, subscribe. Leave a like. Hit. The bell. You can also find all of our pods and game recaps over on Spotify and Apple if you follow us. All of those episodes will go right into your feed. It'll be nice and easy for you to access them. Leave a five-star review. We'd appreciate that very much. You can email us, hbtcpod at gmail.com. That's the address. We always love to hear from you guys. We go through, we read your emails on each pod recording or whatever mailbag episode we may do. Sometimes in the summer, we get a little creative. But send those thoughts in. Celtics thoughts, Ratless thoughts, does not matter. hbtcpod at gmail.com. The socials are at How About Them C's for Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Facebook's the name of the podcast. All of our streams are there. They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter's at Jack's One NBA. Mine's at Sam LaFrance NBA. That's it for us. Bye.